Hey, everybody, it's Jason from Collision Hub. Welcome back to today. Do you want to talk about die marks, specifically the die marks from General Motors that they've been using for um, sectioning for years and more recently for making measurements from, I've come to learn. Uh, so earlier this week, one of our pick, and tech, pick a tech inquiry shops contacted us and said that they're working on a 2022 Chevy Bolt quarter panel replacement. Um, and the procedure says they refer to die marks. Uh, what are they referring to? I cannot find any. Uh, so my initial thought was, well, General Motors, um, I'm probably going to be looking for the, you know, the arrow with the circle uh, pointing to a line that they've used for quite some time to help us when sectioning GM vehicles. A um, little bit more research, um, I found out that, that wasn't exactly the case. Uh, but in the corners on some of these vehicles, they have these uh, kind of plus symbols you can see here. Um, they're having you make this 344 millimeter measurement and this 272 millimeter measurement from these die marks, these plus looking symbols. Um, so my, so I did a little bit more research trying to figure out exactly what we're looking for here. It's kind of hard to tell from the illustration. Is that on the inside of the pinch weld? Is it on the outside of the pinch weld? Is it somewhere else on the vehicle? Something that I, I had personally not encountered as a, at that time. And again, this technician wasn't able to find the die marks either. Um, I did do a little bit more research. It's not just on the bolt. Um, I thought perhaps it's just kind of exclusive to that particular vehicle. That's not the case on both the um, the Chevy Equinox and the Traverse and their GMC counterparts. I found similar uh, die marks. Um, again, sectioning on the Traverse here, um, you can see that we've got uh, the same die marks in those corners of the unicide and the door openings that we're going to be making measurements from. Uh, so it certainly is not exclusive to the bolt, but certainly it's something that you encounter at some point. Um, we we looked and looked and looked and looked for quite a while. Um, what this technician ended up doing was when we got the service part in, uh, during the preparation, we took a little bit closer look and we were able to find that die mark um, on the service part, which then helped us kind of go and locate it on the vehicle itself. Um, very, very faint to see here um, on the right picture, but you can certainly see that die mark in there. Now, a couple of tips um, now that we now that I know kind of where where these are and, and you know where these are at. Um, yeah, you can see here that our vehicle maybe not a bit, has been as clean as we'd like it to be. So make sure that we're doing a good pre-wash of that vehicle so we can see, uh, get all that dirt and grime out of the way, help us see that. And then also in this particular it's a vehicle, it's black. We've already got some protective coatings on there. You can see we've got some protective blankets in there. Um, we may want to get some, some lighting sources, get some additional auxiliary lighting in there to help us see that better. But um, they are there. Um, they're certainly useful uh, for us to make our measurements from. Now we know exactly where we're looking for the measurements for them, or again, in the case of some of the other GM vehicles, exactly where to make those sectioning marks. Uh, so they are there. Look for them, leverage them, use them, and uh, good luck out there, and we'll see you next time. Thanks a lot. Have a great day.